Before we get into today's squad builder, make sure you are trading correctly around this team of the season or the pre-team of the season because the market has crashed almost, I think for some players, 30% today. And you wanna be doing the right things to make sure that you're actually making profit and you're not losing coins. As you can see, we've got a transfer list here uh, full of players that have been selling 85 and 84 rated in forms, as well as some gold high rated fodder, well, 84 and above fodder. So if you wanna be doing stuff like this, make sure you join my Discord. There's a link in the description where I give out loads of free tips when you should uh, sell players, how much to buy them for, and I give out 100K investment guides for free, obviously, um, where you can buy you know, a load of cards for 100,000 coins, and then a week or two later, sometimes a few days later, you can sell it all for like 200,000 coins, and obviously that is really helpful when building teams to get more coins. If you want to buy cheap Ultimate Team coins, safe and reliable, make sure you go and check out igvault.com and use my discount code EGHD at the check out to get 6% off your order. Hi guys, welcome back to a new squad builder. Today we have another best possible. I haven't done a best possible squad builder for a while. Today we're working with a budget of 1 million coins and as you can see, we have an Mbappe, we have a Neymar and we have a Messi in the squad for this budget. Now most of my squad builders will be 1 million coins and below and the reason why is because it's a budget that people seem to search for a lot on youtube all of those budgets below whereas once you get over 1 million 1.1 1.2 people don't usually search those budgets specifically so that's why we always do these best possibles with 1 million coins or below and yeah as i said this is the first time you can get an mbappe a neymar and a messi in the same squad the reason why i say messi is because you're still getting a lot of player here for such a low cost he's almost not a discard but he's at that point where like, he's almost worth putting into an SPC if you have him untradeable, like, if you don't put him into an actual team, right? Um, but he's still super effective in-game. He scores goals really easily. The downsides of him is he doesn't have that stamina uh, what, that you'd expect to be in, like, an end-game squad. You're going to have to sub him off probably 60th, 70th minute or something like that. Obviously, Mbappe and Neymar, I'd say that these players are obviously still very relevant right now even you know going into team of the season in a week or two's time but um they're going to be replaced soon with some amazing cheap affordable team of the seasons like hidden gems but that's why the market is crashing as i'm doing a squad builder the prices of these players are coming down as we speak so i'm actually taking a hit i'm probably going to lose like at least 50 maybe even 100 000 coins just doing a squad builder so if you enjoy these squad builders make sure you smash the likes make sure you subscribe and let's get into the rest of the squad actually let me just talk a little little bit about the chem styles so obviously with Messi he lacks the pace as he's got a bit older especially that top speed um he has only 80 sprint speed so I want to put a hunter on him that is you know a 100 everyone has to put a hunter on him now when it comes to Mbappe and Neymar you can do a couple of things for me marksman is best for Mbappe it gives him a little bit of dribbling as well as physical and the shooting he's already got a lot of pace obviously you could you know if you wanted to put something like a hawk on him you can but I think the extra dribbling extra strength uh, is really nice and with Neymar Again, a little bit like Messi, he can benefit from more of that sprint speed, although he's not as slow as Messi. So a hunter really goes well there, especially since he's got the five star skills. So his dribbling feels solid. His balance is only 83, but for some reason it, it just feels really well. It's because he has 96 agility and 95 dribbling stats. So that's why he feels so good in game. And the reason why I've got a blue one is just because it was the cheapest on the market. So for these three players or for this team, guys, this is going to cost you 1.1 million coins on PlayStation and about 900 to 950,000 coins on xbox so that's why i price this at 1 million coins because by the time you're watching this it's probably a million coins on uh, playstation anyway and this is the first time that we can actually build like a, a usable squad like a team that actually is solid in defense and the midfield area so let's start off with the left back and the center back you guys already know who it's going to be yes it's boring but does it work yes it does it's going to be mendy and varan these guys have been solid all year we don't really need to talk about it too much the perfect links of dreams which means building squads with these guys is incredibly easy and the reason why we're going to go down this route wasn't just because they're the best in those positions for the price it's just because it's easy to link with league and players being a lot of french players so we're going to go and put elise melu i think that's how you say his name uh, but this is a what if player that got the upgrades uh, a player that seems to fluctuate a lot through the week you know 10 20 000 coins up and down depending on the weekend league sell-off and a really solid all-round player he is part of the hullet gang which means 80 plus stats in every area of the field his slowest or well his his worst stat is actually his pace but i feel like it's it's still pretty good go and put a shadow on him and it's it's acceptable it's more than acceptable for the price that you're going to be paying for this card so really nice card there now with the rest of the squad i'm actually going to go for a left back 
in the centre back position. So we're going to go for another what if player, and that is going to be Yuri. But as I said, he's going to be playing centre back. And the reason why I think this, that honestly, one of the most underrated and least talked about players that you can play centre back right now. So have a look at his stats. 92 pace overall, 93 sprint speed. So he's not going to be slow in the sprint speed department. Obviously, he's not going to get full chemistry. He's going to have seven chemistry. So he's only going to get plus two instead of plus five from this anchor chem style. You can see his defensive stats are really solid. And usually with left backs and right backs, they don't have the actual strength. But he has 86 strength, plus another three from the anchor chem style, plus another two aggression, plus the three on the jumping. And he's not small either. He's 5'11", so just under six foot with the 94 jumping combined. Yes, Ronaldo's going to beat him in the air, but a lot of the time people don't do crosses. And you, well, you could actually just use Varane to defend the corner situation anyway. So... Really, really solid, and I think you're looking at about close to 100, 120,000 coins on Xbox and PlayStation. Obviously, I play on PC, so it's hard to memorize all the prices. Um, so that's what we're going to do there. Now, for the goalkeeper, you can go for any La Liga goalkeeper. I've used Oblak for a couple of weekend leagues now, and I've got to say, probably the best non-special, like non-icon, no you know other special cards in the game, just pure golds. And I know he's one of the highest rated. I think he might even be the highest rated uh, goalkeeper in the game. I can't remember what Neuer is this year, but he saves most things. Like things I'm like, I should be conceding this. He will somehow get a hand to it. So really like this card. If you don't go for him, you can go for Courtois. You can go for um, to Stegen as well. Uh, so you don't have to go down this route. So if you need to shave off some coins, maybe have an untradeable version of any of those goalkeepers, then just use that goalkeeper instead. It doesn't need Need to be Oblak. Now, for the right back in this team, I was going to use Inform Dest or Deest. I don't know how you say his name, but Alex Moreno is who we're going to go for. And the reason why is as, I, as I'm doing this squad builder, when I checked at the start of the day, the whole team has dropped a little bit, which meant that I can put more into the team. So this is the first play that I thought, you know what, we're going to upgrade from the Inform Dest, Deest, Deist, I don't even know how you say it, to Alex Moreno, 91 pace, 82 defending, 78 physical stats, so much better defensively, um, similar kind of pace though, uh, 83 dribbling as well, 81 passing, and uh, not too expensive, obviously it's more expensive on PC and it will be on Xbox and PlayStation for you guys, uh, but solid stats there, I haven't actually used them yet, so we're going to be uh, using them for the first time in a weekend league game today. Now, the weakest part of this squad is going to be uh, Benjamin Andre, a player that quite a lot of people would have used at the start of the year with inform um, Renato Sanchez uh, because of the strong links between these two so a lot of you may be familiar with this player and yes he is outdated for this time of the year yes uh, your opponent is going to run rings around you if they are a very good player but when you're working with a million coins and you've got these three in there you've got Mendy Varane you've got solid solid defense you're going to have to sacrifice a little bit somewhere. It's going to be uh, with him. And also, we're going to go for just a gold de Jong. Now, if you have more budget, maybe you have one of these players untradeable uh, or you have more coins to put into the squad, then I, I would recommend upgrading uh, Andre and probably de Jong. You could go for any of, of the informed de Jongs if you'd like, but you do need a strong link to go up to Messi to make sure he gets 10 chemistry. So you're probably best to go down the route of de Jong. Now, the reason why we have this is because we want to play a formation with free midfield Builders. I've been preferring using the 4-1-2-1-2 much more than 4 2 uh, well, 4-4-2 and the 4-2-3-1, but I'll show you what I like to play in games. So, as I said, I prefer to use 4-1-2-1-2 like this, and now for the formation, what I'll do is probably have Messi at the cam position, although he's going to get very tired, so it's either Messi or it's going to be Neymar in the cam position. Definitely play uh, Mbappe as your striker. Now, for your CDM, one that stays back, you're going to have uh, Benjamin Andre, then you have De Jong and also Elise Malou getting forwards a little bit and then Mendy and Alex Moreno with these instructions you're going to have them on get forward uh, and actually well join the attack and overlap and it just works really well it's very aggressive uh, but it, it is actually more fun to play like that I've found uh, seven depth uh, balanced defensive style fast build up five five and then three on the corners and free kicks I've just been enjoying playing games with that custom tactic obviously four four two and four two three one if you want to you know counter somebody's really aggressive tactics and you want to go to a 4-4-2 or something to kind of stop them because 4 one 2 one 2 narrow. It can be exploited if somebody has really good custom tactics. So just be aware of that. And then 4-2-4 for the all-out 
at the end of the game, you know, if you're losing the game, just stick everyone forward, Mbappe, Neymar as your strikers, Messi on the right side, and Malou's got a goal on the left because of the players in here. But I imagine you guys have super subs, uh, whether that be, you know, maybe an objective that you've completed in the last few weeks, like uh, some foot birthday objectives or something like that, then you can just put those uh, into Malou's space and change your formation how you like. As I said during this video, you, some of you may have missed it. I know a lot of people skip to this part of the video. This team is going to cost you 1.1 million coins on PlayStation and also about 900 to 950,000 coins on Xbox and we spoke about the goalkeeper you can change the goalkeeper you can save 20 or 30,000 coins on the goalkeeper you can change the right back if you'd like it's not necessary to have this right back but you know the only weak part of this team the bit that stands out the most is this Benjamin Andre there is an informed version I would say that the rule breaker is actually better and it's cheaper the reason why the informs more is because of SBC solutions the team of the week has like a requirement whereas you know the rule breaker isn't a requirement for SBC solutions so there's more on the actual market so really excited to use these players I haven't used Neymar and Mbappe for a while even though I feel like I play every single game I play everyone has them so it'll be interesting to have them on my team for once all right let's go into the first for champions game and it's not bad it's quite he's done a lot of sbc he's got palacio he's got uh, Jovino. he's got a team of the year um i've got his name actually oh how have i forgotten his name but yeah he's so fast oh that's a great pass and it's gone in off the post wow yes Mbaps, thank you very much. Straight back in it, 15th minute. Come on. Come on. On your weak foot, no. Messi should be putting that away. That's got to be offside, please. Oh, it's just onside. That's frustrating. Oh, yes. That was the wrong skill move, but the direction was right. Come on. Malou. Oh, he's slid perfectly, and I even tackled in the right direction. Can we get one more? Can we get one more chance? Ah! That's a pen. Oh, I was probably going to score that with Mbappe as well. I better score this penalty. I've been all over him in the last bit here. Penalties. Oh, I hate, I hate Neymar's run-up, though. I'm going to go right. Woo, thank. I, I don't take penalties often with Neymar, so I wasn't sure if my head was going to give it away if I, if I moved too early. Yes, look at the pace. The bridge, how was... Is that Boateng? He's onside near post. Is that onside? Yes, it's onside. Come on. Les Ballou? Come on. His dribbling is actually all right. I thought he was going to be a bit clumsy on the ball. Even though he said 87 dribbling on the ball, he didn't have the balance. But just goes to show even in extra time. Yes, absolutely burns Boateng that time. I'm going to go across goal. Come on. There we go. 5-2, it's in the bag. Game over. Well, it's game over at 4-2, to be fair. So, there we go, guys. That is the best possible 1 million coins team that you can buy right now on the market. As I said, the market is crashing a lot. Uh, over the next week or so, I expect to see at least another 20% off of all these prices. If a player goes for 500,000 coins now, they're probably going to sell for 400,000 coins in about 10 days' time. Everything goes crazy. And something about this year on FIFA 21 is we haven't had to pay for squad fitness at all the whole year round which means a lot of us have more coins at this stage of FIFA so um, you know more packs have been open more player picks more icon SBCs have been done because we have more coins to play with so the player prices are going to be cheaper this time round of team of the season but hopefully you've enjoyed it if you have make sure you smash the likes make sure you subscribe and if you want some more trading tips you want to know when these market crashes are coming make sure you join my discord the link is in the description thanks for watching guys i'll see you later bye bye